So, if we start a new sculpt and then place a shape down, the position that we had the imp at when we placed the, um, this cube is the origin point for the whole thing. So now if I turn off grid and use kaleidoscope, you can see they all kind of revolve around that center point right there. And if you use the mirror, it, that uses that center point, that center origin point also. Um, now you can make like other edits and whatever, and then delete that edit. That edit isn't the origin point. The origin point is where that where the first edit was ever made. So you can't change it um, after the fact. You can't like move that there. The mirror will still be at that point there. Um, so that's something to be aware of when you're when you want to work with mirrors and stuff. Um, uh, but you can also, so because the origin point is set there, I can then just draw some other stuff. Uh, so I can give it spikes coming out at all angles. Uh, but when I go back to use the grid, the grid is still on that cube. So um, even if I like move it around and make it a funny angle, if I align the grid to that cube with L1 and X, uh, L1 and triangle, then that's still perfectly centered on that original cube position because it's using that as the grid point. Um, now, and then L1 and triangle somewhere else to reset it, or you can go, uh, oh, when it's set at a jaunty angle, you can uh, go to reset grid to reset it as well. Um, however, what if for some reason, let's turn off the mirror, we don't need that, um, it was positioned strangely, so like, you did that or something, for some unknown reason, and now at this grid, grid size, it's kind of all squiffy, and, um, and if you... Do that and then align the grid to it. It's not like lining up to that central uh, point. Um, uh, oh, uh, ah, there we go. Cool. So um, there is a way of fixing that without, uh, and and this could obviously have like a load of um, edits in it. Uh, to make it look cool, cool and whatever, and and to fix it, you'd have to go in here and then move that to position it properly, and then you'd have to like move the like every single edit, and you can't even move um, like spray paint edits at all. So you move stuff, and then you'd have to just respray the whole thing. So let's just undo that. Okay, so instead of that, um, you can group it. So, uh, yeah, so this is all off. Um, so let's go down like that and then just move it over and then make it bigger again. Now it's it's um, on the grid properly. But then if you um, align the grid to this object, it will be back at that squiffy setting. So instead, uh, so let's reset the grid like that. Uh, instead, we can group it with something, and then it will use the current group. So if I go um, here, that's my favorite method of making a, a um, kind of group that doesn't really do anything. Just stamp down an empty uh, microchip, and then you can select these and group it. And now, if I make that all wonky and stuff, and then I uh, grab the grid again and then align to this object, it's perfectly aligned because this, uh, when you make a group, it uses the current um, 
grid of the actual world or whatever whatever grid you have uh, currently active so then it um, it kind of bakes it in but then if you go inside the group and then align to this sculpt alone then it'll have that squiffiness to it again so uh, that's one way of fixing that